Well, in other recent news, Portland State University is begging to be attacked. As a fall of 2020 school year, Portland State University police will patrol Portland State University campus unarmed. Follow along with me here as we listen in to Chief Willie Halliburton of the Portland State University Department of Public Safety and their new plans to <laughs> have an unarmed police department. Good afternoon. My name is Willie Halliburton. I've been a police officer for 32 years. I've been at Portland State University for five years. And the last month, I've been the Chief of Police Director of Campus Public Safety here at the university. So, so your first act as chief with a whopping one month of experience is to take away the very tool or tools needed at one of the potentially most critical life altering situations that one of your officers may face or that they enter into that one of the students you are saying you're there to protect may face. During my time with chief of police, I reflected on the concerns of our community. I've thought about the concerns that people have and still have today. I've decided that as a department, we will change our policies to reflect the following. I think what you mean by reflecting is placating. Yeah, placating to a small sliver of society that is bent on terrorizing people in the name of tolerance that disagree with them. You know, like the black male that was recently beaten and stomped at a protest right in your community. Hmm. But maybe you need more than a month with your chief big boy pants on to figure that out. As a fall of 2020 school year, Portland State University police will patrol Portland State University campus unarmed. This is a historic event in the world of police work. I understand it's going to have its challenges, but it's the right thing to do for Portland State. We will still protect our campus. We, we will protect you. Uh, wait for it. No, seriously, wait for it. it. It's coming. We will still provide police services. We will have police officers available. We will have them here, but they will be unarmed. I've examined my own experience dealing with police as a civilian. And I must tell you, things must change. And here at Portland State, I am so proud to be a part of this historic, groundbreaking way of doing police work. Uh, I'm sorry, Chief. This is so groundbreaking that literally in the entirety of this announcement, you provide not one single actual reason behind your decision. <laughs> this is so typical. We need change because reasons that I don't want to share with you. Portland State University officers will patrol the campus unarmed. We will carry non-lethal tasers. Ooh, uh, important point here. Tasers are not non-lethal, they are less than lethal or less lethal, must have been the one question you got wrong on your chief exam. If there's a call that requires an armed presence. Oh, 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 here it is, here it is. Portland Police Bureau has agreed to assist us. <laughs> so, so you're gonna be a better police department by calling another police department when you need real police work to get done. Yes, that's, that, is, uh, that is quite groundbreaking. We will be reaching out to other organizations and to other departments for ideas and helping deal with our houseless situation and those who come on our campus who have mental health challenges. Yeah, but the thing is, we know how to deal with it. We could talk about prevention, but we know how to respond uh, swiftly and decisively. We've seen this at Ohio State University before. Remember Officer Harusko? Um, yeah, he ended that because he was a campus officer with the training and skills necessary to do his job. But hey, why let things like facts and experience get in the way of your one month of being a police chief looking to politicize things and get ahead? This is unique for Portland State University. I am not asking other departments to follow our lead. <laughs> Thank goodness. All I know is that at Portland State University, we need to heal. And this is the first step of healing. The first step to healing is to put more time, distance, and ability of your officers to actually protect the students on campus while you wait for someone else to actually respond. That is so stunning and so brave. I thank the officers for accepting this challenge. I thank the families of the officers who are allowing their loved ones to go out and be pioneers in law enforcement. Maybe I'm the only one that sees that you're confusing the words pioneers with pointless when it comes to your plan. I respect the administration for allowing us this freedom to explore a new way of doing police work. 
we ask the Portland State community for patience, for their assistance, and most importantly, their trust as we go down this path of new police work. Thank you so much for your time. I am so proud to be a part of Portland State University. And I am glad that my kids will never go there or anywhere like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Mike the Cop. Share this up, like it, all that stuff. It's brought to you by BlackRifleCoffee.com. If you've never tried their stuff, do it. Use code MikeTheCop to try it for 20% off.